Hello, what's up and welcome to this channel. In today's video guys, we're going to test three games on CMU, the 1.88.2 and uh, we're going to test three games and I'm going to mon monitor them. It's going to be Super Mario U with the update, um, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and Super Mario Kart 8 all upscaled to the best quality possible, 1080p, 60fps and I want to see like how much uh, GPU usage uh, CPU and RAM usage you actually need to play the games enjoy them in the full speed possible and then I'm gonna go through after that some of the fixes that you might apply in some of the updates with a new uh, CMU uh, version uh, for the for this every specific game for Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Super Mario U and Super Mario Kart and when that all said guys I'm gonna hop up to my uh, desktop and I'm gonna see you there
Alright, um, we are done with testing and what I want to show you here on my desktop is um, I want to show you uh, what kind of setting I use for the same view so you uh, can use the same settings and what I do recommend guys is that you have for each game uh, the latest updates and DLCs installed very important because uh, some games doesn't play or doesn't work if you don't have the uh, latest DLCs and updates but anyway um, I'm gonna show you my settings really quick general setting here um, in general interface keep everything as it is graphics uh, i would highly recommend to use uh vulcan i have a geforce gtx 2070 super not trying to frex here uh pre-compiled shaders keep it automatic v-sync keep it off f-sync shader compiler keep it on it makes so that you uh, uh that's compiled shaders uh, that is compiled shaders really fast um upscale filter billionaire don't scale filter billionaire as well and full screen, full screen scaling Keep expect ratio. Um, audio uh, switch from direct sound to X Audio 2. Um, yeah, TV device, primary sound uh, driver, and the gamepad device. If you have a gamepad with audio as a PlayStation DualShock, you can keep it the primary sound driver and stereo, of course. Overlay, um, I would recommend put the scale to 150 and if you want to because if you want to monitor your uh, fps and ram usage uh, you can do that i do it sometimes uh, but uh, i would recommend only to click fps and uh, cpu usage those are the two most important ram as well but uh, it's up to you and this is nothing too important here you can click uh, close that and then here in the bug um i would um select the, i would use uh, use this uh, yeah click on the use uh, use semi hook h264 and uh, custom timer keep it as default and mm's timer accuracy keep it as default and you actually good to go there's no more things to do those are my settings on semu um what do i as well recommend i would recommend to click uh, right click on each game and uh, right and i would go to game ah, edit game profile guys and here where you can actually choose if you want to use the mod right single core compiler multi-core compiler uh, or automatic i would recommend like to use single core compiler for, for every game uh, without breath of the wild the only the only game that actually benefits from uh, a higher uh, from a higher CPU uh, is actually Breath of the Wild and I would go to edit game profile and as you might see here you I would I would click multi-core recompiler because the only game that really benefits from the multi-core recompiler is Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and the other games you can keep them at single core and you can do that for each one uh, uh, separately uh, it's highly recommended and uh, yeah that's all that's my settings on the same U, nothing too crazy, uh, all the other stuffs, um, yeah. We're gonna talk a little bit about um, what do I recommend because we do did the testing, and uh, you saw you saw you saw, you saw what kind of uh, RAM usage, uh, GPU, CPU, and all that. And, what do I would what I would recommend, right? What I do would recommend uh, to, for, for you to have. So let's go through every game. I actually saved them on my phone, the stats. So give me a second. So we begin with uh, Mario Kart 8, right? So Mario Kart 8 GPU, what at highest, what it's not 39%, use uh, 39%, no, sorry, sorry. GPU was the highest at 24% uh, usage at 1125 MHz and uh, the CPU was at 13% 13, 13 usage but it's boosted up to 4300 MHz. Um, yeah. So as you might see here guys, uh, we have a high CPU usage and uh, even if it's the obvious, ob obvious thing, it's like a switch around, it's like it shows that the GPU uses more than the CPU, same is CPU. 
uh, heavy and RAM heavy. So as you see here, we have 600, uh, RAM uses what? It's 6,662 6, megabytes of RAM. It's used for Mario Kart 8. So if you have less than eight gigabyte of RAM, um, it's not going to run up the optimal. You might uh, uh, encounter issues, glitching, black screen, all that. So what I would recommend is uh, even if we say you, 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 you can run it at uh, you can you can play it with eight gigabyte of RAM, but what I would recommend is to use even even though you have eight gigabyte of uh, RAM, use a uh, a dual channel right don't use a single uh, ram ram stick ram, yeah, ram stick instead use a dual one so two ram sticks instead even if it's eight kit eight gigabyte kit, uh, kit use two uh that's the benefits gonna be at you might be thinking yeah okay because i why you use why you tell me using um uh a dual gigabyte a dual yeah, dual channel option. If I can use a single, I get the same RAM. So the thing is that when you use a single, single, a single, a single kit uh, of gigabyte of eight gigabyte of RAM, you uh, not gonna get the dual channel benefit. That it's you gonna get a lot more performance out of it if you do if you use a dual channel uh, uh, kit instead of a single channel. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about gonna highly it's gonna boost your fps you're gonna get more performance out of your kit even if it's a gigabyte but uh yeah that's for mario kart 8 like if you use if you have the 8 gigabyte of dual channel right you're good to go because you might thinking okay because it's only 6660 6672 and you have 8 gigabyte you have to think uh, Simu is not only uh, your PC is using RAM as well to uh, operate properly, right? So you literally having no RAM at all while playing, emulating the game. You have 6,000 and have probably 1,000 for the system as well. So you, you're on the edge. So what I would recommend, guys, is literally going for 16 gigabyte of RAM and not less. The website on Simu says that you uh, good with 8 gigabyte, but I say 16 because you need to have some room to you to to have to, for for this for the operating system as to work as well this is some really good advice guys i don't know believe me i'm no one talking about okay anyways dual channel as i said and 8 gigabyte you're good to go with mario Kart 8 now if we go to hold up if we go to oh, okay if we go to super mario you guys uh you're good with 8 gigabyte of dual channel 8 gigabyte 8 gigabyte of ram dual channel uh, you're good to go. You don't need 16 because it only uses the whole time only six uh, six gigabyte of RAM. Then you have two two uh, two thousand gig RAM left still to use with system operating system and whatnot. You're more you're more good to go. And uh, as 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 yeah, yeah that's actually all it. There's nothing more to say. And uh, the last one is literally Bre Breath of the Wild used actually 7000 gigabyte of ram if you have 8 gigabyte of dual channel ram you're not going to get the performance that you want and probably going to be uh, uh yeah not not, not, not going to do the work right and if you have a thing imagine if you dual channel and you, you're not going to get the, the performance that you want to with a dual channel of 8 gigabyte while playing breath of the wild and imagine having a single uh single slot only single sl ram slot a gigabyte you gonna even experience a worse uh, experience than when you have a dual channel so what i do actually what i would recommend is 16 gigabyte of ram guys if you want to play a breath of the wild and uh, you're gonna be good to go and uh, one more thing guys i did it as a real life scenario i did actually boost up the resolution to 1080p and got some shaders and stuff and all that in the graphic packs so that's because if you emulate the game you want to play it as as beautiful as possible and obviously so i did all that so you have to keep that even in mind that the graphics and shaders and stuff and things do uh, affect the performance of um, the the games as well it depends on how high you boost it and whatnot i had everything on medium so uh, keep that in mind as well uh so yes so in all in all guys um I would recommend if you want to emulate all those games and play them really good good quality I would want at least having a, uh, 
a 10, 1080 Ti as a GPU and a CPU guys to more cores to better to better the, your performance is gonna be and of course a dual channel RAM and you're gonna be good to go one more thing I want to say is that uh, while doing this test guys I did formatted I did refresh like I did delete everything on my computer and install a fresh Windows and uh, um, and install the game games again. So on Mario Kart, I did literally nothing. I just installed the game, DLC update, and it runs perfectly. No black screen, nothing. On uh, Super Mario, while I, while playing it, I, I put uh, um, I, I I installed the DLC and update, and I started. It didn't work. It crashed. You see on the start screen. So what I only did, I didn't put any extra files or nothing. I just uh, did go to the graphic packs and uh, clicked the the crash fix that's in the graphic packs and that's actually worked for me so this is one more thing i wanted to tell you and uh, for breath of the wild guys you really have to only to install the um the, the graphic the bleh. you need only to install the uh, update dlc and the game gonna run and then if you want to enhance it and do those uh, glitch things that sometimes appear with the smoke and whatnot in the open world uh, you can just go to graphic packs and click on those and if you want me to do a more detailed tutorial on every each game and what graphic packs you need to apply to and what kind of things let me know in the comment section below and with all that said, I'm gonna get the heck out of here. Have yourself a good day and bye else. Keep it cool and stay awesome. My name is Kazit. My, My name is Emu. Emu Gaming. And I'm freaking out of here. Peace.